Ultraizing. was the thing I was trying to avoid. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So we are in an interesting time right now. We've got COVID-19 out on the prowl and everyone's in quarantine. So that kind of put a delay on certain videos that I wanted to do because I definitely did want to film something else for this video, but I thought best to stay in this self-isolation and stay away from everybody. I work in the healthcare, so I do still have to go to work. Not that I'm complaining, I'm very grateful that I do still get to go to work and I don't have to worry about going in um, for unemployment. So I am very, very grateful for that. But let's just, before we get into what I'm gonna do today in this video, let's just talk a little more about COVID-19. So I don't believe everybody's taking it as seriously as they should. This is definitely something that can blow up very quickly. Um, I do think we're gonna recover and everything is gonna be fine, but I think people who are going out and partying and going out and socializing and being around a lot of people are thinking about the big picture and what that means for the people they come in contact with or the people that those people are then gonna come in contact with. If anybody is immune suppressed, they're more prone to get it and that can be very dangerous for them, that can be very bad and it can end up in death, which a lot of the deaths do happen to be the elderly or anyone who is immune suppressed or who has other issues. And I think we just need to be kind and think of other people in a situation like this. And even if you feel fine, but you know that you could have been exposed or you're going out and, and you're doing things with a lot of people, I would suggest self-isolating, especially if you have the ability to, if you have the ability to work from home or you can go to unemployment or if you, you live at home and you don't have as expensive expenses and you can afford to stay in, I would suggest doing the self-isolation. The other thing that's really scary about that, about this whole thing is, this whole pandemic, is that some people aren't even showing symptoms. Even after the 14 days, some people aren't showing symptoms, but they're a carrier. So it's really hard to gauge who should stay home and who shouldn't stay home. So in my situation at my work, I am still going to my office, but there are more than 50 people there. And right now in Canada, you're not supposed to be in areas or locations with more than 50 people. So my work is quite delayed on figuring out who can work from home and who will come into the office because we are a big office. So not everybody can work from home. Unfortunately, we don't have the resources. So, you know, that's kind of a big issue. But the other thing is with that, that can happen in a lot of other is that if I'm going into the office, for example, let's say I'm a carrier, I could be going into that office and even if there's under 50 people there, let's say there's only 10 people in the office and we're all spread out, you know, it's still a small space and I'm passing somebody, just passing them or, or giving them paper or giving them something, that person could then get it from me, but we're, we have no idea who they could have got it from because I'm not showing symptoms. It's just insane, and I feel like we all need to take this as, as serious as possible without being crazy about it. You know, like everyone's stocking up on toilet paper, I really don't know what that's gonna do for you. If, you know, if we do get quarantined in the way like Italy, you know, they do have it so that you can leave the house and you can go get products or go get medicine. You know, I get if you really don't want to, I can understand that, but let's be kind and think of all the other people out there, especially the people that, you know, are gonna need, you know, toilet paper. I know who are gonna need, you know, f you know food, canned food, just as much as you do. Let's not be so selfish, you know? It's just, it's crazy what can happen um, in people's heads and the way that they start acting. It really shows human nature, you know, it can really, actually I don't want to say human nature because not everybody acts like that, but it really shows how selfish we can be, you know, as humans and how we can just take um, and not share. So just a little side note to, you know, take this carefully, take all the proper precautions, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer. If you think you have symptoms, stay home. 
you know, if you have the opportunity to check, go get checked. I know it's really hard to do that right now because they're limited on the kits, which does kind of suck because going into the hole, some people don't show symptoms or you don't really know if you're infected until you show symptoms. And within that 14, you could have infected a lot of people. So it's, it's really hard right now. But, you know, if we all just take the extra precautions and self-isolate when you can and, you know, do our part, I think we can prevent from, you know, getting to the extent that Italy is in. So yeah, just a little note. But I know that's not why you guys came to this video, so let me get on with the real reason that you guys are watching. So, BoxyCharm. So I've been subscribed to BoxyCharm for under a year. I don't know exactly how long I've been subscribed for now. I want to say it's been close to six months though. Um, the boxes, I swear they were way smaller. They were like the size of this white box, this white lining. If not, maybe a little bigger, probably a little bigger actually. But the last two months, last month and now this month, they have been quite large and I just get the first tier. I know there is Boxy Lux, where every three months, if you pay for Boxy Lux, you get this box every month and on the third month you get this box and a bigger box. But I live in Canada. So this box technically is supposed to be $26, but with the conversion rate, it's 40. And at the rate, the American dollar is getting so much more powerful than mine. I'm sure this is gonna cost a hell of a lot more next month. So if I didn't live in Canada, or if this actually was $26, I would subscribe to Boxy Lux, but I just can't, you know, bring myself to spend on that third month like a hundred dollars to get that box because I'm sure that's what it would convert to. So this is just the first tier, but you can get other tiers. Now, if you don't know anything um, about BoxyCharm, like I said, a monthly subscription, normally $26 a month. If you're in Canada, expect 40. You can get a mixture of skincare or makeup. You can either get just skincare or just makeup. It's up to you. I do a mix of both. Last month, I don't think I got any skincare. So I'm kind of hoping this month I'll get some skincare products. Everything I've gotten from BoxyCharm, I've absolutely loved. I have not hated any of it. So I have really, really high hopes every time a new box comes in because it keeps getting better and better. I really enjoy it and I researched a bunch of other boxes like Ipsy and this one was my favorite. So I would suggest it and BoxyCharm, if you want to sponsor me, feel free. I would love the Boxy Lux. But without further ado, let's get into it. Itchy. Okay. Ooh. So, the bottom of this is already open. That's slightly concerning. I hope whoever checked my box for drugs or whatever you were looking for, I hope you wear gloves because I don't want Corona. This is a Becca product. It says, ooh, Glow Gloss Tiger Lily. I've never actually used a Becca gloss, but I have used their setting powder, which is amazing, which I also got in a BoxyCharm. Oh, ooh. oh, that's so pretty. Do you see this? Look at this. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, this looks so pretty. I cannot wait to put this on. Oh, and it's like a thick consistency too, so you know it's not going to be one of those super sheer glosses. Like it's gonna, it's gonna have some pigment to it. I'm really excited to try this now. I haven't had a new gloss in a hot minute. So the next thing I see in this box is Murad. I should mention a lot of the products I get in these I've never heard of, and I don't know how to pronounce. So if I butcher any of these, I'm sorry. Um, this looks like Murad, if I'm spelling it right, if I'm reading it right. It's a Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisturizing for Eyes. Oh, it's an eye cream. It's claw proof. Really? Oh, they don't want me to have this one. I got it. Ooh, 
so it looks like this. I really love minimalistic packaging like this and it's just super clean. That's nice. I've never used this brand before, I've never heard of this brand. Oh, that's thick. Oh my God. It doesn't really have any special scent to it. It smells like a regular moisturizer. I'm like almost dropping this, but it's such a thick consistency. Do you see that? I don't know where the camera is going to focus, but that's going to feel amazing on the eyes. Oh my God. I'm going to want to douse myself in that. Ooh, I'm excited to use that. I've never bought an eye cream. I've never used an eye cream. Ooh, okay. Okay. I love palettes. And everything that's come as a BoxyCharm brand has been really, really amazing. Like, I have not been disappointed. I got BoxyCharm brushes the one time. I used them wrong the first time, so I definitely didn't get the application that I got the second time. And let me tell you, those brushes, they were nice. I actually used them for this makeup look. Let's see. I should also mention, I think it's so cute. They say hello charmers on like all their stuff. I think that's adorable. Really cute packaging. I love it. I'm a package person. Okay. I see. I see. I'll do this, guys. These claws can be insane. There we go. So, we've got 12 eyeshadows here in this palette. They look... Wonder, can you see the shine on some of those like shimmers? Those are nice. So here we have Boxy Charmer Full Size Exclusive Spoiler Luxe Unboxing Sneak Peek Premium Swipe Up Pop Up and Cup of Joe. These are really cute. I've never owned like a solid. Oh my god, I got my nail in it. That was the thing I was trying to avoid. Ah. <sighs> I've never owned a white eyeshadow before. So I'm interested into what I can kind of do with that. Like that's white, like that's not even, that's not even like shimmery, it's just a white matte. So, I mean for Halloween I think I've used white, but I think it's, it's interesting that they threw in a whole white shade. I feel like you normally get like a whole black shade, so they're switching it up on us. I'm excited. To test these. So the next thing in this box is Very Cherry Clean by Pharmacy, but Pharmacy is spelt uh, F-A-R-M-A-C-Y. I've never heard of this brand. Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I have never used a cleansing balm. This looks really cool and this is huge. This is a large size, you guys. Do you see this? So made in Korea, so you know this is gonna be amazing for your skin. They are onto something. They know what to do. So it says this is limited edition, so it's made exclusively for BoxyCharm. So I guess this very cherry clean cleansing balm, I guess this flavor, this scent, uh, is only for BoxyCharm. So I guess you can't purchase this anywhere, but if you get BoxyCharm, look forward to this. Oh, it comes with a little scoop. They're really only sending me things I can't open with these nails. Oh, there you go. There we go. Oh! It's a light baby pink. I love this color. This color is really nice. So, gently massage on a dry skin for eye makeup removal. Apply to closed eyes, rinse with, rinse with warm water, or wipe off with a damp cloth. So I, it doesn't say if you're supposed to take off your makeup and then put it back, um, put this on, and it takes the rest of your makeup off. I don't know if you're supposed to put it on when you have a full face of makeup and then rub it in and it comes off. So if you know how to use products like this, please let me know. Never use this stuff. 
So you guys know how to use it, please let me know because I normally just put my micellar water on a washcloth and I use that to wipe my makeup off and then I rinse uh, or I cleanse my face and then do my, my whole routine. So if you know how to use this stuff, let a girl know because she don't know how. Okay, so the last thing I have in here, sponge gel, French lavender. Beyond Cleansing, Body Wash Infused Buffer. Oh, it's a multi-use. I've never seen this before, I've never heard of this before. This looks so cool. So benefits of it are um, body wash plus buffer, it's dermatologist tested, cleanses, exfoliates, hydrates, and massages. So place sponge under water, squeeze to absorb, massage in a circular motion to cleanse skin, squeeze out excess water after each use. It's for all skin types. It's vegan, 100% paraben free, dermat uh, patent, patented delivery system, um, and cruelty free. Have you guys used these before or have you seen these before? Because this is new to me. I have never seen or heard of this and it's multi-use so that's cool body wash infused buffer oh that smells that smells good this is weird looking though what does it can you see it better if it's against the pink do you see that? It's like a, a flower shape. It's a really dense sponge. Oh, you know what this smells like? This smells like my Victoria's Secret bombshell perfume, which is like my favorite perfume, which is like my favorite perfume ever. So that's pretty cool. I have never used one of these before. And this is multi-use. This looks single use, but that's, this is really cool. I'm excited to try this out. I've never used anything like this. I've never seen anything like this. So if you guys have tried these, let me know what you think. Uh, I know I enjoy doing unboxing and stuff like this, so I hope you guys do too. So if you want to see, you know, when I do these types of videos, if you want to see me use the products, like actually see like a how-to makeup look, if that's something you're interested in, or if you just want me to come back on screen and be like, yep, it lasts a long time, I wore it for this long, this is how it looked, and then just go over each product and how it was, then leave that down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a lot of fun unboxing stuff. It gets me super excited when new stuff comes to me, especially during this quarantine time. I don't have to go out. It comes to me. So that is blessed. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button if you want to know the next time I post a video. I am going to try and post every Friday. So fingers crossed that I can keep up with this. I mean, with this quarantine, it shouldn't be too hard. I can't do anything. So, yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.